أراد شيئا إنما أمره إذا أراد شيئا أن يقول له كن فيكون that إنما أمره as for the work of Allah Azza wa Jal his deeds whatever he does is that when he wants to do something his is to just say that kun fayakun for those who are surprised that somebody is created out of only a female and for that matter divinity is ascribed to him or her Allah Azza wa Jal says that even without that female I create how did I create Adam kun fayakun then he came into existence without any resource Allah grace and then it comes into exile but what is so unique and important in the creation of Allah Azza wa Jal that is different from ours is that Allah Azza wa Jal says that there is SOP for each of the steps in his creation there is standard operation procedures for each of the steps in his creation if I am going to produce this water for you even how to turn on the machine of this particular water there is SOP for turning on the machine there is SOP for cleaning the room in which the machine is there then if you see the number of SOPs we need to develop before we produce paracetamol for you you will be surprised but that is sunnatullah that is the sunnah the tradition of Allah Azza wa Jal inna khalakna kulla shayin biqadar I create everything with what a plan how can Allah create you without a plan how can Allah create you without a purpose is unimaginable. Afasibtum anna ma khalaknakum abatha. Afasibtum anna ma khalaknakum abatha wa annakum ilayna la turja'oon. Allah says that do you just think that we created you just like that for nothing? You should come and earn degree, do your master's PhD, finish work, get money, marry, get houses, and then you end up dying like that just for nothing. You think we just created you just like that? There is no aim. For Allah's sake, which manufacturer will produce something without a purpose? And who knows the purpose and the usage and how to make the use of a particular thing more than the one who created it? And how can we claim that we know ourselves better than even the one who created us? Allah Azza wa Jal, Allah says, Afahasibtum anna ma khalaknakum abatha. Do you think that we just created you just like that aimlessly? There is no aim at all for you to come and sing, dance, and then play football, enjoy, eat food, and then that is all. Then you do all these things and you die and go, أَفَحَسِبْتُمْ أَنَّمَا خَلَكْنَاكُمْ عَبَثَا وَأَنَّكُمْ إِلَيْنَا لَا تُرْجَعُونَ And do you think that there wouldn't be a day that إِلَيْنَا back to rest لَا تُرْجَعُونَ You shall not be carried. You wouldn't like it. But you will be carried as a king and brought back to Allah Azza wa Jal. Whether we like it or not, كُلُّ نَفْسٍ ذَائِكَةُ الْمَوْتِ Everybody will die. Whether you like it or not. You need to be in the hospital to see the end stages of people. The doctor warned us. I have exhausted all the drugs. He tends to ask the pharmacist, is there any drug again available? Finish. You ask the laboratory technologist, is there anything you hadn't checked? Finish. What can we do? Nothing. Nothing. There is only one thing that is moving from the toes, it comes to the knee, and then it comes to the waist, and slowly, slowly, sakaratul maut, the intoxication of death. Wallahi, Islam is the best religion that explains to you what death is. Is. What will happen in death, then the, how to manage that intoxicated stage of it till you breathe your last breath. Sakaratul Maud. Nobody has control over it. Ya ayuhal ladhina amanu ittaqullaha haqqa tukatihi. Ya ayuhal ladhina amanu ittaqullaha haqqa tukatihi wa la tamutunna illa wa antum muslimun. Ya ayuhal ladhina amanu. Oh you those who believe. Ittaqullaha fiya Allah haqqa tukatihi. In the best manner that is deserving 
children of Allah Azza wa Jal, you need to fear Allah Azza wa Jal. Wala tamutuna and never make a mistake and uh, release your last breath. Illa, except that wa antum except that you have surrounded the entirety of your life, your vision, everything to Allah Azza wa Jal, except that you have done that one as a Muslim. Never make a mistake and then uh, get to the last breath and you are not in that particular state any degree you have over here you are going to leave this particular world with that particular degree but not as a muslim nobody gives you that particular assurance that at your last breath you are going to leave uh, this world absolutely surrounding your needs and your design and your vision to your creator nobody gives you that particular assurance it is your life that will give you that particular assurance it is your good deed that will give you that particular assurance it is your sincerity that will give you that particular assurance it is your honesty that will give you that particular assurance it is your hard working and honesty that can give you that particular assurance